doctor, a traveler, an adventurer. It also helps with, um, you know, scholarship tips and where you can get um, low-funded scholarships, education, and stuff like that. I'm sure we've checked him out. So it's going to be telling us more about that after the program today. So I'll just like us to um, hear from you. And as we're doing that, please in, um, remind others it's time. This is 5.03 and we're not going to stay too long. So yeah, over to you, Dr. You can have the floor. Fantastic. Thank you very, very much uh, for the brief introduction. And uh, I must also say thank you very much for thinking about me and considering me for this um, World Health Day uh, presentation that you have within Product Hub Africa. Um, I'm very, very uh, privileged to be a part of you guys. Um, just a brief introduction of myself. Everybody calls me Waka Waka Doctor across social media platforms. And the reason for that is pretty easy. Um, doctor, because I'm a medical doctor. Um, I am licensed to practice medicine in four different countries. Um, I have worked in five different countries as a doctor. Um, and I've got interests in public health and mental health as well. Waka Waka simply because that's an informal um, lingo um, that describes someone who is always on the move, someone who never stays still, someone who always travels. And um, as a result of that, I've been to 66 countries now. Um, and yeah, I've enjoyed every bit of it. I, and I use all my social media platforms to educate people as to how they can move to these different um, countries. Um, I think that's that's enough introduction for myself. Um, just a brief story to say that when I saw your invitation, um, well, I, I hardly, except I'm busy, I hardly turn down invites uh, because I, I, I always enjoy the opportunity to talk to people, meet people and just, and just, you know, share ideas and stuff like that. And so when I saw it and I saw you guys are techies uh, and I'm a doctor on the other side, um, I had a flashback, you know, down to many years ago when I wanted to be a techie. Um, I should have been a techie, actually, because um, I studied, well, my first year in university was, was, was me studying to be a computer scientist before I branched out to study medicine. Um, oh, wow. And I also <laughs> attended the popular NIIT in um, in Nigeria, Lagos, Nigeria, where I learned SQL, Java wow. um, at the time. Yeah, but don't ask me about that now because I've abandoned it many years ago. Uh, but yeah, I get, I, I just got that, that memory. So I should have been a techie for real, but um, I'm a doctor at the moment and I'm enjoying it. And the theme of this is how you can effectively manage your health as a techie. And um, sorry, sorry, uh, to cut you off, doctor. If it's fine with you, like, you might want to share your video. If it's fine, you want to see my face. If it's fine with you, <laughs> okay, okay. You have to um, if it's fine. I'm not. I'm not just sure if um, the lighting here is going to permit. Okay. But I'll, I'll try and turn on my okay. camera. Um, I'm somewhere along the shores of east africa at the moment so i'm gonna i'm gonna try and turn on my camera let's see okay, okay. See if that works. yeah okay. thank you so much <laughs> yeah um so i i um thank you for the what's it called now the topic that says um health health and techies yeah it's a brilliant brilliant topic and first of all, before we, you know, before we classify ourselves as techies or doctors, we are first, of, first and foremost, we are human beings, yeah? And we all have to look after our health, um, physical and mental health. Mental health is often not, I mean, we don't, we don't talk about it that much. Um, we discard it, but it's equally important for us to look after that part of our health. And today I'm just going to be sharing um, healthy lifestyles um, targeted towards techies now. Um, and I'm also going to be talking about how you can maintain 
um, a, a, a healthy living. Okay, this these rules are not set in stone. You might fall short once in a while, but it, this is what's going to give you long life. This is what is going to give you the opportunity to live a very healthy life. Okay. Um, so I know that techies are usually on their laptops for many, many, many um, hours a day. Okay, you're either coding or you're writing. If you're not into coding, or you're doing data analysis, or you're doing one thing or the other, but you're behind the laptop. And when you're seated in one position for a long time, you have the tendency. There's increased propensity for you to snack and eat. Okay. You just eat anything you find, you grab and you eat, you drink a lot of sugary stuff. And that brings me to the first thing, okay? You need to watch what goes into your mouth, okay? While you're sitting, one spot, you're eating the snack, you're eating that snack, you're eating that drink that does shh all the time. Uh, pretty, pretty um, dangerous to your health. Um, and I know that it's a compensation for, okay, I want to sit down on my laptop. I don't have time to go cook. I don't have time to make, you know, real food. Yes, I understand that, but you also want to be careful uh, with what you put in your mouth, okay? So you should eat sensible meals, okay? If you're going to eat or snack, let it be vegetables, let it be salads, let it be fruits, let it be whole grains, you know, things that are rich in nutrients, all right? It goes a long way reducing the risks, you know, of contracting diseases and all that because you sitting in one position can also increase, you know, sedentary living because you're not exercising much, you're in one position, you could become obese over time and it's little, little, little steps it takes for you to become that. Okay, so what you, what you take into your mouth. Another thing, point number two, is for you to maintain a good work-life balance. Yesterday I hold, um, held a space and we talked about love, finding love and tech. It was a very interesting space. And one of the discussions is as to why you don't have tech brothers dating tech sisters and why you don't have tech sisters dating tech brothers. Our tech brothers crushed a lot of hearts um, that was involved in discussion. And one thing that came up is because you're a tech bro, a lot of tech bros and tech sisters often work at night, okay? work at night, maybe study and read during the day, but they sleep more during the day. Um, and because you sleep at night, you're unable to toast women during the day. Mm? You're unable to go for that lunch date or that dinner date during the daytime. Um, and then that, that, that puts a negative bearing on your relationships. But what I'm trying to say here is try and maintain a good work-life balance. You can't do work, work, work all the time. I work, um, my basic hours every day is 40 hours a week, but I still do possibly 100 hours every week, okay? Me working, I do 100 hours of work every week. Uh, but I I mean, you know, I love to travel, okay? Um, in the last, I'm on a six weeks leave at the moment. In the last two weeks, two and a half weeks, I've been to Kenya, I've been to Uganda, I've been to Tanzania, I've been to Rwanda. You know, so you, you need to find the things you enjoy because that would also help you to create a balance, help reduce stress, help your mental health, would improve your thinking vastly, okay? So you need to maintain that. Number three is get enough sleep. You guys don't sleep. I just said that story now. You don't sleep. You have to sleep. Um, forget what they say about them. How do they say it again? They say... Um, sleep is for the sleep is for the lazy or sleep is for the something. For the weak. <laughs> for the weak. <laughs> sleep is for the weak. Let them not deceive you. You need sleep. You need to get at least eight hours of sleep. That's what an adult should get. Forget all those things. They say, ah, if you sleep eight hours of your life, you've slept one third. Leave that thing off. <laughs> You need to sleep. You need to sleep at least eight hours a day. Six hours I can I can allow, okay? But you need to get proper sleep. And what proper sleep does, it, it helps your skin. 
okay, helps your brain. You become very sharp. You don't need to depend on coffee, coffee all the time. Mm? You need to wake up refreshed. Your mental health is sparkling. Your psyche is functioning optimally. Okay, so it's important for you to get enough sleep. I can't overemphasize what sleep does, okay? You need to get six to eight hours of sleep during the nighttime. I'm not even against, you know, having short naps here and there. Don't do power sleeping. Please, I beg you, don't do power sleeping. Sleep properly, okay? Loads of the mental illnesses that you have around um, depression, anxiety, are all linked to lack of sleep, okay? Now, the next thing I want to do, say, is you need to stay hydrated. Wearing you that table, you know, working on your laptop, you need to always drink water, okay? Um, one of my very good friends, I'm sure you know him, Aproko Doctor, uh, that's his team, um, drink water all the time because it's important, okay? Uh, drinking water, there's a lot of evidence um, that it helps, you know, um, fight viral infections, um, dehydration helps to prevent distorted thinking as a result of overheating. You know, imagine your engine, if it's dehydrated and dry, the overheating process. But when you keep hydrating yourself, your brain is thinking very well, okay? And, you know, because you're sitting on one spot, you also want to reduce the risk of kidney stones as well. So you need to take a lot of fluids, a lot of fluids. Uh, two more points before I move to the next subtopic. Um, I'm going to ask a question and I need everybody here to speak. We're 17 here, 17 here. So I need to hear 17, we're 19, correct? So I need to hear 18 voices, uh, this question. When was the last time? I don't want to hear uh, many years ago. You need to be specific. And if you have never done it, say I've never done it. The question is, when was the last time you had a routine medical checkup? Not by a herbalist, not by your mother, but you went, you walked into a hospital and you had a routine medical checkup. When was the last time? I need to hear voices now. I've never. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. 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 <laughs> never. Three years. Three years. Who said three years? Someone said three years. Who said three years? I said two years. Two years. Okay, you went two years ago. Okay. Nine voices. I need eight more voices before we move on. <laughs> People don't want to talk. <laughs> They are scared to disappoint. <laughs> they are scared to disappoint. I mean, you need to have yourself checked. It is very important. This is 2023. People of young age are dropping dead. Okay. And this is no this is no jokes. You need to have regular checkups. I would say every six months, but you can even do once a year. Just walk in in the middle of the year, have your blood pressure checked, have your lungs checked, do blood tests, you know, do x-ray, do ECG, do all the tests and just know that, yes, I am clean and then I'll come again next year. Check your blood pressure as well, okay? Very, very important. Have your eyes checked if you use glasses, okay? I mean, it's very, very important. Very, very important if you want to live, I mean, old um, and fulfill all your future plans. This is important. You don't want to be, you know, age of our dad and moms and, you know, we keep wondering, oh, our hearts, atherosclerosis here, hypertension there. This is the time to keep a track of your health and make sure that you're fine. So please, if you don't take anything out of today, make sure, just go to the hospital, sign up for a full body checkup, medical checkup, okay? You need to do it twice a year, okay? At least every six months. But if you do it once a year, I'll pardon you. That means that the next time I meet any one of you, if you, if I hear never again, if I hear never again, I will just close the meeting and that's the end of it, all right? So the last point I want to talk about is that in as much as you're in front of your laptop, your screens, your phones, 
your um, your 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 iPads, you need to find a way to reduce screen time. Okay, you need to reduce screen time. Find a way. There's something called digital detoxing. That's when you shut down everything screens for. 48 hours or for three days or for five days or for seven days. And don't tell me it cannot happen. It can happen. You know, I I used I do it twice a year when I go a whole week off the phone. I mean, look at it. What are you doing on your phone? What are you doing on your laptop? Aside from work, you're also on social media. You stay off social media for three days. Just those three days first. Stay off laptops, read books, meet people, talk to, you know, friends and all that. Um, reconnect. These things I'm going to talk about later. But it's important that you reduce digital time. And the effect of this UV light rays, you know, on your eyes and all that over long term cannot be overemphasized. Okay, when you reduce digital screen time, you will reduce stress, you will boost your physical activity, your focus and brain function will be top notch. Okay, that is the idea. Okay, please exercise. If you see that your weight is doing bala blue, hmm? if your weight is doing bala blue, you want to make sure that you exercise. Exercise is important. Okay, one of the struggles for tech is um, that people possibly haven't talked about to you as well is your mental well-being. Um, techies, a lot of techies, well, most techies, according to research, are introverts, um, like to keep to themselves, um, work, that's it. Um, and your mental health suffers, okay? But I'm going to talk to you about five steps with which you can maintain proper mental well-being. I've talked about the physical, now I'm going to talk about mental health, okay? Don't focus on your laptop alone, on your phone alone. Connect with other people. Good relationships are very important for your mental well-being, okay? Um, they help you build a sense of, you know, a uh, sense of belonging, a sense of self-worth. You know, they provide emotional support for you as well, allow you to support others and others to support you. And it gives an opportunity you know, to share positive experiences, okay? So it's important if it's if it's possible, take, you know, time every day, be with your family, eat dinner together, arrange a day, um, arrange a day out, you know, when you want to uh, possibly, um, 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 you know, meet up with friends, you know, and maybe spend time in a park or something, switch off the TV, play games with your friends, have lunch with a colleague, visit a family member, you know, volunteer at a local school, things like that would definitely help you. Okay, number two is you want to be physically active, running, taking walks, okay? You ca I cannot overemphasize the importance of that to your mental health, okay? It would raise your confidence, all right? If you go on a walk for one hour and you come back, your chest will be like, this, ah, <laughs> I walked one hour today, or I ran 10 minutes, or I, 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 I jogged 15, 20 minutes, okay? And you have this chemical um, release in your brain that helps to positively improve your mood, all right? That's one thing I want you to also know. Um, another thing is you might want to learn new skills, okay? Learn new skills. And that will also help with your uh, uh, mental health as well. You might say how? Well, when you learn new skills, it helps to boost your confidence as well. It, it, it helps you renew your sense of purpose, okay? And it helps you connect with others as well, okay? So, even if you feel like you do not have enough time or you may not, you know, need to learn new things, there are a lot of different ways you can bring learning into your life, okay? Try take on new responsibility at work, okay? Maybe mentor a junior staff, work on a DIY project, maybe repair a light bulb or a TV set or something like that. Sign up on a free course somewhere, Try a new hobby. How many of you can ride bicycles? Let me ask. How many people cannot try? If you cannot ride a bicycle, say yes. 
Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. yes. See them. Uh-huh. See them. You cannot ride a bicycle at your age. Eh? Learn. Go and learn. Go and learn. Go and learn bicycle. Eh? Or learn how to swim. Very, very helpful. Some of you cannot cook. If you cannot cook, say hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Okay, try learning how to cook. Try learning how to cook. If you want, you can start from you can start from frying water. Mm? Fry, <laughs> fry <laughs> eggs. Uh, boil water. Boil eggs. Things like that. Mm? Make a bar. Mm? Make make noodles. Okay, make spaghetti. Yeah, make soup and stew. Okay, that's you trying to learn a new skill. Do, do one, one of this a week. Just do one thing a week out of all these things I've mentioned and you will see how that would grossly affect your life mentally. Another thing that I think helps is when you give to others, okay? And research has shown that when you give to people, it improves your mental being. And you ask me how? When you give someone, there's this sense of happiness inside you, positive feeling, a sense of reward. We all need that as human beings, okay? It gives you a feeling of self-worth, helps you connect to other people. It might be a small act of kindness. It might be a gift. It might be volunteering to someone, okay? Um, that's definitely helpful. Some of us don't even say thank you. Okay, saying thank you to someone when they've done something to you is a positive, excuse me, is a positive feeling. Um, asking friends how they are, okay, and listening to them is, is an act of giving. Spending time with your friends is an act of giving, okay? You need to do that once a week as well. Just try that out, okay? Um, another thing that people don't often know, there's something called mindfulness, okay, which is paying attention uh, to the present moment, okay? Living in the moment now, being thankful and grateful for what you have now. Don't think about tomorrow. Don't think about your past. Be thankful about what you have now. Pay attention to the present moment. This would help your well-being as well, okay? Um, think about your thoughts. Think about your own body and the world around you. These things we need to put into practice and they will definitely, definitely help us, okay? So um, I know I had 20 minutes um, and I'm thankful for this opportunity. Um, I'm just gonna leave you um, on with one, one small thing, okay? Um, it's impossible for me to leave without um, talking travel at all, okay? As a techie, um, there's some websites that I need you to look for, uh, look at if you're looking for tech roles, um, you're looking for visa sponsorships that would also offer you tech jobs, okay? I'm going to read very fast, but you have to take notes. There are possibly about 20 of them that you need to check. Number one is Michael Page, okay? There are recruiting agencies in Europe. Michael Page is one. Number two is manpower, manpower. Number three is Hayes. Hayes is H-A-Y-S, H-A-Y-S. Number four is Allegis, A-L-L-E-G-I-S. Number five is Adeco, A-D-E-C-C-O. Number six is Randstad, R-A-N-D-S-T-A-D, R-A-N-D-S-T-A-D. And I'm going to call some websites like landing.jobs, landing.jobs, L-A-N-D-I-N-G dot jobs. Uh, the next one I wanted to check is remote.io, remote.io. The next one I wanted to check is remote leaf, leaf like L-E-A-F remoteleaf.com, remoteleaf.com. And the next one I wanted to check is remoteleads.com, remoteleads. Instead of leaf, you say leads, okay? Remoteleads.com. The next one I wanted to check is angel.co, angel.co, okay? I need to also check that as well. I think by now I've given you maybe about 10 or 12 websites. Who can tell me how many? How many in total? 
11, 11. Okay, so another one you can check is um, wewalkremotely.com. 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 Another one you can check is remote.co. 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 Another one you can check is just remote.co just remote.co just remote.co another one you can check is dailyremote.com 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 another one you can check is remoteok.com 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 and finally you can check jobspresso.co jobspresso.co that's j o b s P R E double S S O dot C O J O B S P R E double S S O dot C O. And on that note, I want to call it um, stop from here. Thank you very much for the invite again. I'm sorry that I've gone five minutes past the time I was given, but thank you very much for everyone who has listened in tonight. It's been a pleasure talking to you guys. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We are so elated to have you also. Thank you so, so much. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have questions. But um, before then, I hope we all had what um, um, the doctor said. Like, hope we all had it jotted down. If we don't, I think at least one person should have everything jotted down so that we can share it in the community later on but this is um what's it called it's recorded so we can always listen to it again so um thank you once again doctor um how do we do this whole question and answer thing do we unmute our mics i think Owobu is raising his hand did i pronounce that right i'm so sorry is it Owobu or Owobu or can you hear me Okay. Probably mistake there. Am I audible? Can anyone hear me? Yes. Yes, you can. Yes, we can. Okay, okay. So I thought someone was raising his hand. Okay, so um I'll just go through the through the um comments to see if anyone dropped a question. By the way, if you have a question, you can either drop it or, or mute your mic and ask your questions now. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and ask my question first. All right, I see some hands. I'll just go ahead and ask my question first. Um, so what, um, doctor, what do you think about people that do not believe in using um, some medicines like PCM or um, body pain? medicines or they do not just believe in all those things at all and then they go ahead to to pile up the symptoms or sicknesses until their health their health deteriorates completely and then they can't do anything again what do you think about this kind of people and what kind of advice can you give them i think i think it's important thank you very much for that question but i think it's extremely important that when you feel unwell you see your doctor and you take instructions from your doctor. If your doctor has instructed you to um, use medications, then you should take those medications. Um, they're only gonna be beneficial to your health. Don't pile up how you're feeling over time, otherwise you would break down, okay? You don't wanna, um, you don't wanna see that happen. So please, it's important when you're prescribed medications, take them as directed, okay? Okay, thank you very much. Um, Salawat, I can see your hand is raised. You have a question. Mm, thank you very much. Please, I'm talking about the aspects of hobby that I find something that impressed. For example, as a techie person, can just derive pleasure in sewing of clothes, like sewing on the mail or sewing machine, like just feel like sewing. Can that be part of something like that? Sorry, I didn't get that question at all. 
Okay, it's like my network is breaking. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, you talk about having something like a um, hobby or something like you find pleasure in doing to, excite, to yes. be a, a distraction for you just to keep wearing away your time. And now after that, can you be like, maybe you are sewing of clothes, like sewing clothes. Yes, on your, yes, can it be yes, Ab you absolutely, need? absolutely. Absolutely, yes. Yes, I agree. That's that's a skill you can learn. Okay. Okay, Salawa, did you get that? Yes, thank you very much. I get it. Thank you. I'm I'm sure she did. Okay. Uh Okay, I think there's another question in, in, in the chat box. And I think that's from, from Aisha. She's saying, sorry, I think that's from Techies can reverse the damage. Reverse what damage? Um, damage of bad posture. Oh, okay, from okay. Sitting down, yeah, like yeah, sitting down yeah, in a particular yeah. position for a very long time. Yeah, I think yes, that happens um, with most techies. Absolutely. I think the first thing is you want to know how to maintain good sitting posture, okay? Um, you need to keep these tips in mind when you're sitting down. Number one, is to make sure that you adjust um, you adjust the height of your chair so that your feet rest very flat on the floor, okay? Or if you're using a footrest, you can use that. You make sure that you keep your knees uh, below the level of your hips, okay? Your 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 don't cross your legs when you're sitting down. Make sure your 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 knees are below the level of your hips, okay? Um, adjust your chair to support your back. Okay, or you can place a small pillow behind your lower back if it's not supported. Make sure that your chair allows supports your back fully. All right, if it doesn't, put a pillow there. Make sure that um, the the top of your monitor is slightly below your eye level. Okay, the top of your monitor is slightly below your eye level, and you want to keep your head and your neck balanced. Okay. Keep your head and your neck balanced and make sure you re relax your shoulder. Very important to relax your shoulder. Now, if you feel that your back is already spoiled, your back has scattered, your, your back, you know, is, is finished. One of the things you can invest in is yoga, okay? One of the things you can invest in is yoga. Um, yoga uh, can help you. Um, fix it. All right. So some things you can, you can learn. I think that there are a few poses like the child's pose. You can Google what child's pose is. Very, very helpful. You can also check forward fold, forward fold. Um, the popular planking that you do in the gym is also very helpful. Planking also helps. Then um, one that comes to mind that you can also try is called bridges. So you can try this for, um, I'll call it again, planking, uh, bridges, okay, um, forward fold, and the child's pose. Those four methods can help you correct the, 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 the back damage that you might be feeling, okay? Okay, thank you. I'm sure that question has been answered. Um, so is... Is there any other question? I saw someone asking a question about relocation or something like that. I know Doctor um, has all those on his Instagram page, and he and he does um, things related to that. So, before we go into that, do we have any more questions on health or pertaining to health? I have a question. Okay, sorry. Your name, please. Samuel. 
Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Samuel. Go ahead. Okay, yeah, please, Samuel, go ahead. All right, my question is, um, Doc, please, what can you advise concerning these lenses? I mean, there are glasses that I've seen a lot of tech people. I've tried using it too, but I don't really see the difference. They call it, um, I think, photochromatic lenses or so. Yeah. Uh, I want to, is there any advice you can give her that? Is it really helpful to use? Yes, it's, it's, it's helpful. Okay. Uh, preventing preventing the rays of light that comes from direct contact of, the, of your system and laptops. Uh, but what I would advise is make sure you go see your ophthalmologist. Um, they are better suited. I'm not an ophthalmologist. They are better suited to give you advice with respect to your eyes. But photochromatic lenses are helpful. Uh, but they can also they can also tell you what other modalities or other tips that can be helpful to you. Okay, if you found that it's not helpful or it's not doing making any difference, then you should definitely see your ophthalmologist. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Samuel. Um, I was also going to ask a question about um, eyesight because I use um, a photochromic lens and I sometimes heard it, um, it's bad if you're using it to read, like it's only good to wear it out in the sun and it's bad if you're using it to read or if you're using it to read like on your screen. I don't know if you understand. I yeah. don't know how true that is. So I don't know if you'd like to shed some light on that. So, so the, 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 thing, the thing about photochromic lenses is, just as you ri rightly said, they just darken the exposure to light, okay? Um, so it reduces the chances of you having issues as a consequence of the UV rays. Remember that when I was talking and I said reduce the digital toxin, reduce your screen time, it was much more of a consequence of the UV rays. So those that's what the photochromatic lens are made of, made for. So you shouldn't be using them to read. Use your eyes when you're reading. Use your eyes, okay? The, the photochromatic lenses are to help you prevent rays of UV light coming directly, you know, with direct contact to your eye lens. So that's all. So I wouldn't advise you using photochromatic lenses to read. Um, use your eyes when you need to read when you're working and you're on laptops, computers, screens, iPads, and use a photochromatic lens. Okay, thank you very much. Um, my last question, maybe. I have noticed that when I'm reading, um, or when I'm using, like, reading on my screen, I see this black dot following my eyes. I don't know if anyone has ever experienced that because because you've been because you've been you've been you've been watching that lens for too long you've been looking at that spot for too long that's why um okay. other than other than the, yeah that's the reason you've been staring at that spot you've been staring at that screen you've been staring at that position for too long other than that what i would advise is you go see your ophthalmologist if you think you're worried and you're concerned see your ophthalmologist okay 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 thank you very much um so are there any other questions i might have to leave you guys shortly uh because okay. i've got another meeting i've got another meeting i need to attend now okay. um but it's it's been a pleasure it's been a real pleasure talking to you and i hope that you guys benefited from this chat i think i can spare another three minutes if, if i've got any questions you want me to touch light on okay yeah, I think you could just use the three minutes to talk about the um, scholarship, like someone right already said. You want you still want scholarship talks? <laughs> I, <laughs> I okay. think we might have to invite you some other time for that. But um, yeah, yeah, um, yes. Three minutes, three minutes will not be enough for me Definitely. to talk about relocating and moving abroad as a techie. Uh, yeah. Three minutes will be enough, but. I hope that those websites I've talked about, you guys can take a look at it. Um, I took a look at take a look at them and apply for as many positions as you want. Um, we can probably set up another date to talk about um, moving abroad as techies, um, scholarship opportunities, and the likes. Okay. Yeah. So thank you very much. Thank you so Fantastic. much. Um, 
some people do not know your real name, so they would love to know that before we leave. Well, um, those who know me know my real name. Um, my real name, I leave it out of social media because Waka Waka Doctor is a brand that I want to maintain. Yes. Okay, yes. so if you want to know my real name, ah, you have to be my circle. You have to be huh. close to me. You have to have you know me. You guys heard me. that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Okay, yeah. so thank you very much. Thank you so much. We are so it's glad that you have our call. We are it's really, really pleasure. excited. Thank you so much. And thank you very um, much, hope guys. that when I'll next we call like out that. to you, you um you'd answer our call. So thank you so Absolutely. much. I will. I will. Yeah. Okay. All, All right. the best. All the best. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much, Doc. All right, guys. Thank Bye. you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, um, I think we're still on the call, right? Thank you so much, guys, for joining. Thank you. Um, in fact, I did not expect so many of us to join like this. I thought it would be like five, but we were like 19 at the point. Thank you so much for joining. Um, I'll, you know how we usually do? We just go to the um, WhatsApp and type one thing you learned, drop it in the chat, and um, you could probably also thank him for coming and um, would, you know, would like to give that feedback to him. <clears throat> we could take a screenshot and give him that feedback. This is how much we appreciate him for coming. But most importantly, you could drop one thing that you learned. And if there's anyone that, if there's anyone that, um, <laughs> if there's anyone that got all those sites that you mentioned, if you've got them correctly, please, I would like you to also um, share it. I think you should share it to Aisha directly um we would like to compile it so thank you so much once again i know today is like a very busy day for everybody but we you know showed up thank you so much once again and that brings us to the end of today's webinar till next time uh yeah so that's all bye bye guys okay bye bye bye